Alright, hey Liz, welcome back. We're once again in Bioshock Infinite, and we just, uh, are finishing up that little previous area, and we are now going to the Order of the Raven, I think it is called. So let's head in here and check out what's what this is all about. Order of the Raven. Got, like, Edgar Allan Poe, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's kind of interesting. His eyes aren't following me, is it? I think it's just my brain. Anyone in here? John Wilkes Booth, okay. And some apples, I guess, that aren't rotten, it seems. Make sure we're full on salts. I think we're good. John Wilkes Booth. Alright. Anything over here? Any, like, wallets or stuff that people left? Doesn't seem like it. Uh, Succimpa Tyrannus? Hello? Guess these guys are enemies or something? Hmm. Okay. That was it for this area, it seems. Uh, anything interesting in this room? Turn off the photograph for now. Oh, that's kind of ominous. Slightly creepy, if anything. Um, wine, not really interested, but thank you. Box phone, there we go. Check out that real fast. And when the angel Columbia gave onto the founders the tools to build a new Eden, they did so without hesitation. For 85 years, they prepared the way of the Lord. But when the great apostate came, he brought war with him. And the fields of Eden were soaked with the blood of brothers. The only emancipation he had to offer was death. Hmm, interesting. Alright, that's pretty cool. But yeah, once again, I just want to reiterate, we're, uh, we're playing on easy mode. Um, right now, I'm just going through this for the story. And then, uh, if you guys want to see more later on... Oh, that's kind of gross. Um we will continue on and do some more like uh, playthroughs of like you know harder difficulties and such but for now just going through the for the story um and then we'll we'll come back if we need to got a little bit of a weird old rotten food messy table can i shoot the birds i can well i mean i can't really but kind of uh, okay doesn't seem like anything in particular over here some wine and such, some records, kind of interesting. All right, let's move on. Uh, I think actually, actually, I think it's up at front, up these stairs. It's the way we need to go, right? I think it's into short objective. Yep. Go to the monument island and find the girl. All right, we're still doing that. It looks like. Uh, anything in these? No. All right, let's go through. I for forgotten country. Where we demonstrated to the sorrow below the true mission our founders have given us. And when the madmans and hypocrites of Washington betrayed him, our prophet did not heal. He did not come crawling for their forgiveness. Like our fathers broke of the great apostate. Our prophet broke with these so-called patriots. And today is the day we celebrate this secession. Alright, let me uh let me take these guys out as quickly as possible. Oh my goodness, there's so many of them. I think they're gonna come from yet both ways. That's what I was expecting. There we go. Let me search them as well. And then let's take out as many as we can. Nice. One more over here. Reload. Make sure we search everyone so we get all the stuff. Looks like we're full on that stuff. Uh, this one's already searched. There we go. Some silver eagles. What's this? Health pack and uh, some salts. Looks like I'm full on that stuff, so we're good for now. What else we got down here? Looks like that guy kind of ran away, honestly. The raven dude. 
So maybe we'll meet up with him later. Box of fun, okay. Calm what stuff. exactly was the great emancipator emancipating the Negro from? From his daily bread. Keep from the, the nobility of Optional chests, uh, optional quests give you an opportunity to find valuable resources. Try revisiting places you've already been to find a lock for that. Honest work okay. From wealthy patrons who sponsored them from cradle to grave. From clothing and shelter. And what have they done with their freedom? Why, go to Finkton and you shall find out. No animal is born free, except the white man. And it is our burden to care for the rest of creation. Interesting. Uh, I guess we'll go with another salt infusion. We'll try to keep it roughly even across the board. Uh, looks like this is the way we need to go, though. There's no really other exit. So let's continue. Spinning their story, that's for sure. Let's press the button. They're about to kill me. I had just defending myself. I think I do. It costs more salts, as you can see. I only get I get five uses of this Devil's Kiss, but only two and not even a third use of uh, because of my salts capacity level. Um, I only get two and like a half uses of uh, what's it called possession. So, yep, yep. Let's continue on that. Okay, we got a dollar bill here. I think, yeah, that's not really anything important. I like upgrading like stuff, but not really using money on things that can, I can regenerate roughly. I mean, I use regenerate loosely, but you know what I mean. Silver eagle purse, got a little like round table here or something. Oh, it's a projector as well. That's interesting. Silver Eagles. Wonder if there's anything interesting on there. Can we turn that off or can we just Yeah, not really. Oh wait, we can get it on the table, that's kinda interesting. What the heck? Oh, that's interesting. Alright, let's move on. I think this is the way we need to go. Yeah, so let's check out these side rooms real quick first. Make sure we don't miss anything. I know that I got that key to that chest, so we need to find a chest that needs a key. I'm not sure about it. Oh, what's this? Can I get that up? What happens if I do this guy? Doesn't seem to do anything. Okay, well, worth a shot. Nothing in the desk. Some machine gun ammo. Some silver eagles on that one, and a vox phone. Let's check that one out. First zealot. Sweet mother of Columbia, why do we worship three symbols in your memory? We worship the sword, so that we might avenge you. We worship the raven, so that we might cover the city with eyes. We worship the coffin, because it symbolizes the weight of our faith. This seems like a bonus area that's hidden, so let's check this out. Uh, silver Eagles... Got a some gear here. Jumping on or off a skyline reloads weapon. That seems useful. Uh, what's the comparison to mine? Mine killing with a vigor trap. No, I definitely want this one more. Cause the enemy to gun to become a ghostly ally for a few seconds. It is a vigor trap, and I don't really use those much, actually. You know what? Let's, uh, let's, let's equip the gear. So H to equip gear. Sure, might as well use that. I forgot that it was, uh, you have to actually use a trap on them in order to do that. We got a toolbox. Is there not a chest in here? Oh, okay. Well, I, we got the gear at least, but I was hoping the chest would be in here, honestly. That's fine, though. Alright, let's continue on then. 
Kind of an interesting building. How do you do this? Oh. I just want to go back to my family. Thing. All right. Is it boss battle time? Devils can equip cold and release V to create an explosive cat uh, trap. Okay. I think you have to trap that guy, otherwise you can't really kill him. Uh, you have to trap him with the Devil's Kiss. Alright, let's pick up that stuff, and then pick up Murder of Crows. Kind of interesting, yep. Reminds me of Edgar, Edgar Allan Poe for sure. Delicious. Murder of Crows is actually pretty, pretty strong, honestly. Like everything else, pretty much. All right, we already searched. Oh, view to summon. Yep, murder crows to stun, stun and damage your enemies. Hold and release to create a trap. Enemies take more damage during crow attacks. That's kind of like a damage boost as well. Let's make sure we got everything in this area. So we need anything down here. It's kind of just like a little battle arena, honestly. So there shouldn't really be much of anything, but definitely worth a look. All right, let's continue on. What do we got through here? Oh, hello. Uh, look at gear. <clears throat> New hat, burning halo. 70% chance that a melee target is set ablaze. Victim takes 300 damage over four seconds. That's a lot. Um, my current one. Oh shoot, I didn't mean to do that. Hold on, let me go to the gameplay menu again. Here we go. Burning Halo. Uh, yes, there's this one, or there is Electric Punch. 70% chance the melee target is stunned. Hmm. These are both nice. You know what? I guess I'll, I will try this one for now. Um, what happens, by the way, if we try to possess this guy right here. Nothing, absolutely nothing. Okay, it was worth a shot. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, whoops. Oh well, oh well. The false shepherd, this anarchist, is either a marauder dwarf or a French man with a missing left eye. Bet I can get to Monument Island from that station. Huh. Can I get onto this guy? Oh yeah, I can, nice. Oh, we've got a telescope here. Interesting. Wonder if I could find Lutetia's. Sometimes you can see interesting things in here that you can't normally see. Doesn't look like I can see any Lutetia's. Alright, interesting. Monument Island. Alright, let's, uh, let's check out this area real quick. In there, that seems like it. Alright. Uh, are there any enemies? No, it doesn't seem like it at least. Can I get on top of there? No, it doesn't seem like it. Let's check this little side area first though. Uh, more salts, sure, why not? I wasted a few anyway, so might as well. I believe this is a bonus area. Yeah, it is. Alright, so let's let's check this out for sure then. Get some stuff to regenerate some health. I think we're good. Oh, nice. Purses. Nice. How much money are we at? I actually didn't look there. Here we go. 569. Nice. It's pretty good, I think.
kind of cool. You can hear a little conversation behind the door there. Oh, we're... Oh, they're down here. Never mind. Okay. Can I, like, carefully sneak? Purse. Get some more money. Are they gonna hear me? Ah! Yep, certainly Don't are. Don't make me do this! Keep shooting! Ah! Don't make me hurt you! Get wrecked. All right, that's supposed to be me. <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty good. Uh, not quite accurate though. I don't really want to like kill her or anything, but she Loki deserves it. Oh, that's interesting. I just walked right on top of that. Okay, I don't think there's anything in here. I thought there might be the chest down here that I'm looking for. Can't really go through those doors. All right. Well, at least we got an extra coin purse. I'll definitely take some. Some free money when my mouse distance my mouse sensitivity is a little bit high actually. Let me uh let me actually put that down just a tiny bit. The keyboard and mouse, there we go. Oh no, not that one. This one. Let's try it there. I guess the lowest one. We do have mouse acceleration as well on, so that's probably why it's uh, a little better. Oh, that's way lower though. Um I don't know, that's a little bit too low for me. How about we turn off mouse acceleration? And put this up a little bit. See what happens there. Yep, that's pretty good. It's pretty manageable, I think. That seems better. I don't know if you guys can tell any difference, but it seems a little better to me. Alright, let's do a skyline strike. Oh, oh nice headshot. Oh, that was it for them, I guess. Once you hear that diddle little little that means all the enemies are dead in this area. At least in the immediate area, sometimes you can find more, depending on uh, how far away they are from you, basically. But yeah, that should be all of them here. Health pack that we don't need. Machine gun ammo that we don't need, so that's nice. Getting plenty of stuff. Of course, the harder difficulties, difficulties uh, you will get less ammo and stuff as well. All right, let's leave this area then. Actually, uh, before first before we do that, we go ahead and uh, finish off this recording. Thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. And uh, next time we'll head into this next area. All right, peace.